Hey, second grade, I hope you enjoyed your fairy tale read aloud yesterday. Today's fairy tale is Goldie Socks and the Three Librarians. It's written by Jackie Hopkins and illustrated by John Manders. So as I read this fairy tale to you today, I want you to listen to the fairy tale story elements. Remember, you might hear Once Upon a Time, or you might hear Happily Ever After. You might hear about a problem and a solution. There could be royal characters, and there also could be magic. As I read the fairy tale to you today, I also want you to listen and make connections. Maybe it's a text-to-text -text connection, maybe it's a text-to-world connection, or even a text-to-self connection. Once upon a time, nestled deep in an enchanted forest or magical forest, there lived a book-loving bear family. Papa Bear was a public librarian, Mama Bear was a school librarian, and their son Baby Bear was a librarian in training at the Grizzly Preschool. One morning, a little girl named Goldie Socks was on her way to school. Goldie Socks usually walked along the road, but this day, since she was running particularly late, she decided to take a shortcut through the forest. By and by, Goldie Socks came upon an astonishing sight. There in the middle of the forest, she saw a cottage that appeared to be made of books. Goldie Socks loved books more than bears love honey, so she went up to the house for a closer look. She knocked on the door, and to her surprise, it creaked open. Cautiously, Goldie Socks peeked inside. Shelves and shelves of wondrous books lined the walls. She called out to see if anyone was home, but no one answered. Goldie Socks knew she shouldn't go in, but the temptation of all those books was more than she could bear. Once inside the cottage, Goldie Socks went straight to the shelves and began browsing through the books. The first book she pulled off the shelf was too big. In fact, it was so heavy it fell on the floor. Goldie Socks went to another shelf, but the book she took from this shelf was too little. Then she looked through some nonfiction books and found one that was just right. Goldie Socks wandered over to another shelf and opened up a chapter book. She used the five finger rule to see if the book was too hard. She started with a closed fist. When she came to a word she couldn't read, she put up one finger. All five fingers went up while reading the first page of the book so she knew that book was too hard for her. She tried another book, but it was too easy. Then she found a book of fairy tales that was just right. After she found several books that were just right for her, Goldie Socks began searching for the perfect place to read them. Goldie Socks looked around the room and spotted a big, lazy bear recliner. She climbed up in the enormous chair and pushed back, but it went back way too far. She surveyed the room again, and this time she spied a poofy couch with lots of pillows. Goldie Sock sprang into the air and landed smack dab in the middle of the couch. Pillows flew everywhere. The couch was too squishy. Maybe there's a comfy place upstairs, she thought. When Goldie Socks reached the top of the stairs, she saw a tent made out of a blanket. She crawled inside the cozy tent, opened the book of fairy tales, and began reading. Yes, this place was just right. Around noon, the three librarians came home for lunch. Pop 
the librarian immediately noticed one of his books was on the floor. Somebody's been looking at my big books and left one on the floor, he said. And the mama librarian said, Somebody's been looking at my little books and put one back on the shelf with the pages showing instead of the spine. Then baby librarian said, Somebody's been looking at my nonfiction books and one is gone. Papa Librarian looked at another shelf and said, Somebody's been looking at my hard books and left one on top of the shelf. Somebody's been looking at my easy books and put one back on the shelf upside down, said Mama Librarian. And then Baby Librarian said, Somebody's been looking at my fairy tale books and one is gone. Papa Librarian saw that his favorite chair was not in the same position that he had left it. Somebody's been sitting in my recliner and left it pushed back, he said. Then Mama Librarian said, Somebody's been on my puffy couch and knocked all the pillows on the floor. The three librarians crept up the stairs. When they got to the top, Baby Librarian said, Somebody's been in my cozy reading tent, and there she is. Goldie Socks looked up from her book and saw the big, sharp teeth of the three librarians. And they were all smiling at her. The end. So class, I hope that you enjoyed hearing Goldie Socks and the three librarians again. I hope you were able to hear some of these story elements and I hope that you were able to make some type of connection. If you would like to share those connections with me on Dojo, I would love to hear from you. I hope you have a great rest of the day and I love you. Bye. Bye.